Hi coach, welcome to the press conference, we're live. Um, questions from the media. Uh, what was this game all about giving time to the fringe players rather than focusing on the result? Yeah, the idea was that uh, getting some youngsters, give them some playing time. Uh, things didn't work out the way we expected. Uh, early three goals and that's that's what then I had to change for the second half. And then we were there, almost there. Um, why did Dimas Delgado lead the team today? Is this his last match for BFC? We've seen, seen the tweet from Parth, so is this his last no, match? It, it's, it's not only that, you know, we need to respect. Uh, I guess everybody knows he had left for home. You know, the reason was, nobody knows the reason. The reason was uh, he, he lost his dad. So, and we are not sure what, what Marco, uh, whether he will be in the AFC or not. But he'll be there with the team. But since the ISL last game, so the respect for him that uh, he had the courage to come back and you know he said he will finish he'll finish the league and so just just for that uh, smooth thought of giving him down um what do you tell your boys at the at half time i mean obviously you went three down goal three goals down down at half time and then there was a comeback what did you tell the boys at half time and are you proud of the second half performance it was it was uh, it was important for those uh, two changes uh, and I, I was sure, you know, we will, we will get this goal. Uh, it, was, it was just that uh, asked them to just keep pressing and we will get the goal. And we got the first goal and uh, we were there. And <laughs> the third goal, again, we got a good header, but uh, it was saved. Another, another, another two chances. Uh, but again, uh, the half-time team talk was just to uh, believe in everybody, you know, believe in each other and just go and press. Um, obviously, uh, Marco was here as well in the stands. Um, your young boy showed a lot of promise. Would you say that they gave a good audition for their future in the club? Of course. Uh, uh, see, uh, the training sessions also we have been recording and he is watching, watching all, all the young players, young talents. And the thing is, uh, he's, he's very impressed with the way, by the way, the players are performing. And today, if you see, Roshan came in, he was spot on, he was doing really well, Parag did well in the second half. You know, for first half, uh, with that first goal, I think the morale went down and then the second half, they regroup and they were fine. They have talent, they have talent, it is just only that uh, they believe themselves. Um, obviously, the next question is about Sunil. Uh, he got his 100th goal for the club. Um, he's out of contact at the end of the season. What plans does the club have for the legend? Uh, see, as far as Sunil is concerned, I, I doubt uh, he wants to leave Bangladesh. And he, I think he will finish with Bangladesh. That's what I can say. Because the feeling what he has for the club, it's been it's been seven years. Uh, so I guess uh, he'll be he'll be attached to the club for sure. Um, last question, obviously, on a personal note, you go back go back to a coaching role within the setup. Um, how have you evolved in your managerial career and how the experience has been in general? See, these 11 games uh, had been uh, really a learning moment for me, you know, in, in all aspects. Uh, about the players, about the way we play, you know, how the opponents are playing, how they are coming on us, how to handle the situation. It was, it was really nice, uh, you know, and these 11 games have really uh, made me grow as a, uh, as a coach, as a human being, how to handle situations. So it was, it was a great experience for me and I'm sure uh, in, in years to come, uh, it will really help me.